Let's take a look at finding determinants on a TI Inspire CAS. Now we're going to be working with this matrix here. So let's go input, put it in. Now you should be back here at your um, your home. If not, press your home button. And we want to go into calculate. So if it isn't highlighted, then uh, use your arrow keys to highlight, calculate, and press enter. And this automatically pop up. Um, if it doesn't pop up, don't worry. Let me hit escape to get that out of there. Okay, we want to input it in our matrix. Well, uh, if you press menu, it'll pop up. That's why I say if it isn't if it isn't already there, then uh, don't worry about it because you can, you can easily add it. And um, sorry, <laughs> thought I spilled my water. Okay, so press menu to get that pop up. I'm gonna choose seven for uh, matrix and vector. And I want to choose uh, one for create, and then I want to choose one for matrix. We're just, I'm just typing the numbers that's in front of each one. Now it asks us for the size of a matrix, rows by columns, and this one is a three by three, three rows, three columns. So I'm going to do a delete, clean out to two, and I'll put a three in, and I'll push my tab, and then I'll do a delete, clean the two out, and put a three in. You can also use your up arrow and down arrow. The change between the numbers and you can if you can control a little uh, mini mouse on here you can uh, use these these to scroll also but whatever method you want those to be three and three then we do a tab and it highlights OK and I'll press enter and you see a three by three matrix on our screen and we want to put in three now press tab one tab two tab and then four, tab, five, tab, six, tab, and then seven, eight, and nine. So seven, tab, eight, tab, nine. Now, we just input, input all of our numbers. We want to store this matrix. So I'm going to press my right arrow key to get it out of the matrix. And you see your store is above the var. And I do a control var to get to the store, and it puts a little arrow. And we're going to pick a letter. It doesn't matter what. I want to pick A. And then I'll press Enter. So now A is stored in that, uh, or that matrix is stored in A. So if I were to type A and push Enter, you see that's that's a result. Well, we want to find the determinant of A. So I'm going to go back into my menu. I choose 7 for matrix. And then I want to choose 3 for determinant. Now we need to tell determine what, and we, we put our matrix into A. So I'll type A, and then I'll push Enter. And our answer is negative 9. That's a determinant. Now I didn't have to actually store off the, uh, the matrix in A. I could have done it another way. And let me show that. If I press Menu, choose 7, and then I want to choose uh, determinant, which is 3. Now my cursor is sitting inside the parentheses. So if I do my menu again, choose 7, choose 1 for create, and choose 1 for matrix. And I'll do a delete and put a 3 in there. Then do a tab, choose delete, put a 3 in there, tab, and then I'll do enter OK. You see it puts the matrix right within the parentheses. So we don't have to actually store off the uh, matrix into a variable. Um, we can um, just type it directly in. So I do 3 tab, 1 tab, 2 tab, 4 tab, 5 tab, 6 tab, 7 tab, 8 tab, 9 tab. 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we press enter, and you see we get the same result, negative 9. And that's how you find a determinant on a TI Inspire CAS graphing calculator.